Hello everyone, Linus from Strusoft here. I hope that you have a great Friday so far. Uh, in this tip of the week, I'm going to show you a very nice feature how to add corbels into your column and beam structure. Uh, so I will go to Revit here. So this is just a simple column and beam structure that I've created um, for this purpose of the video here. There are no corbels, as you can see. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's what we're going to solve today. So, uh, of course, you can use our commands to draw the corbels uh, for each individual column. You need to uh, decide the, the elevation and, and so on. Or you can use the automated way, which I'm going to show you now. So it's very, very simple. You select the whole building if you're going to insert the same corbel in all connections. Otherwise, you select the, the elements that uh, should have the specific corbel, like this, and then we will just add it in these connections for the se selected elements. But I will do the whole building. Um, I will go to the impact. And in the components area, we have insert corbel. So here I can decide which corbel family I want to use. I'm going to use this corbel with socket, and it should be this one. And I hit OK. And it will wait for a couple of seconds. And later we will have corbels for each uh, of the of the column connections here, column being connections. And you can see here that the width are a little bit differing because of my um, yeah the width of the columns basically. So what I will do is I will select one, select the uh, all visible in view or in the project. So I will select all the the inserted corbels, and then we have a setting in the properties where we can uh, apply the the column width instead of uh, doing this random width here. So we'll add that one. And you see now that it will adjust to the column width instead. So this is a very nice feature um, for like speeding up the process of adding corbels into in your into your projects.